Kawhi, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. When did you first understand about yourself that you were kind of built for a moment like this to lead a team like this at the highest level against the greatest competition? Um, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it really just doesn't come to my head. It's just about um, going to the seat, going through a season, um, just being able to, you know, be the best player on your team or one of the best players. And, um, you know, once you keep, you know, going, uh, reaching, um, you know, the steps and getting to the next round of the playoffs or just making it to the playoffs, um, I guess, you know, my mindset is just to keep playing and, you know, um, just wanting to win throughout the season. That's you coming in the playoffs with the same mindset, want to win. I want to win today's game. I want to win today's game. And I feel like, uh, you know, just having that carryover pretty much helps me or helps your team or players that get in this position. Kawhi on your right, third row. Uh, Tom Havers from NBC Sports. Kawhi, you said if you weren't playing basketball, you would be doing something with math, maybe business. I'm wondering if you, uh, if you had a favorite subject in math growing up and if you had a teacher that especially meant a lot to you growing up and honing that? Um, no, I don't. I can't remember really any, um, any teacher's names. Um, just really like um, math class more than any of my other classes than like English or history and things like that. Um, I guess it just made more sense to me to use in um, everyday life. Uh, right here. Sandy Chanak with Yahoo Sports. Um, Kawhi, before you were in here, Kyle was in here, and he said that you're the best two-way player in the league right now. He also went on to say that, you know, until you got to Toronto, he didn't know how good of a shooter you were, and that, you know, when he saw you putting up these monster stat lines throughout the season, it really, you know, wowed him. So what is it like for you to hear him say that? I um, mean, it's great, uh, you know, to have teammates on your team, uh, to have confidence in you. Uh, and, you know, uh, it helps you, gives you an extra drive, an extra push to, to be better. And, um, you know, when you play or don't play with someone, you can see how good or, you know, not good they are, you know, once you're on their team. And, um, I mean, I guess he's seeing it now. Fourth row on the right, Davide. Kawhi, Davide, can you tell What do you think is the most important lesson your team has to learn from game five? Uh, just from any other game, just uh, look at our mistakes, try not to make them again, and um, go out there in the next game and, you know, just play with each other, have uh, one focus and, you know, one goal, and, you know, try to, try to win it out. Gary on the left side in the aisle over here. Kawhi, Gary Wash from Boston Globe. You've been through some tragedies, some hardships growing up. Um, you just kept moving on. And, and how has what you've gone through in the past, losing your dad, things like that, motivated you to, to be here today and to be one of the top players in the NBA? And do you think uh, of those times a lot? Um, you know, growing, when, when, once it happened, I you know, thought about it a lot. But as I get older, uh, as I got older, I just pretty much really stopped thinking about it. But I think it just gave me a sense of feel that uh, life and basketball are two different things. And, um, you know, just really enjoy enjoy your time and moments. And, you know, like I always say, just that this is basketball, just go out there and have fun. These are going to be the best years uh, of my life playing this game. And, I mean, being 27 is this young, you shouldn't be stressing in life. Uh, you know, about about things that really don't matter as long as your family's healthy. Um, you're able to see the people that you love and you're able to, you know, walk and run. You're not injured. So all those things are accountable. Go out here, lay it all out on the floor, um, do the best job I could possibly do and, you know, try to win. Robert, fifth row on the right. Kawhi, uh, Robert Latow, BSO. Uh, you talked a little bit after game five about the mental aspect of coming back from an injury. Uh, we just found out that, that Kevin Durant did um, indeed rupture his uh, Achilles, and he was speaking about that. Can you just expand a little bit about the mental part of you know dealing with a serious injury, and what piece of advice uh, would you like to give to Kevin Durant as he goes through that journey? Um, just from my own experience, you know, just could talk from you know what I've been through. Uh, you know. Like I said, you just, you know, we work so hard to get to this point and, 
you know, it, the games gets taken away from you, especially with leg injuries and things like that. You're not really able to run or do anything, um, you know, on the floor. So um, you really just have to change your mindset on things and, you know, try to attack each day of getting better. And, um, you know, just, just know that you're going to play again one day and you want to come back as, you know, the player that you were, you were and, you know, make sure you come back when you feel healthy, you, you feel good enough that you, that you feel confident enough in yourself to, you know, go back out there on the floor and know that that day will come. And just, like I said, attack each day. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's your assignment to get back to what the thing that you love to do. Arash, last question over here on the left side. Kawhi Arash Madeni from Sportsnet. You seem pretty kind of stone-faced, even keel during games. Do you feel down the stretch of them the pressure, the, the stress, the nerves, whatever you want to call it, in games with everything on the line in the finals? I mean, definitely. Every, like, even before it gets down to the stretch, you, you feel like you want to play great. You know what I mean? You, you want to make the next shot or get the next stop. And I don't know, it's just like I said before uh, about going through regular season and the playoffs. It's, it's kind of like, you know, your mind is into that already. Uh, you got to carry over from either the first possession to the last possession of you want to get a stop so or a stop or a score. So you really, I don't know, like to really say at that time, like, oh, I feel so much pressure. You really don't. Um, I think it's, it's um, w once your adrenaline is going, um, it's a lot different than you watching the game. Like, because your mindset is totally different because you're within that moment and, you know, you're embracing it and enjoying what's going to happen next. Thank you, Kwai.